Hey YouTube, Ion here, and today I'll be bringing you a Heroes of the Storm update. As you can see, they completely overhauled the user interface to be more like, I would say, StarCraft. As you can see about the background, and everything has been moved up here, so whenever you want to select your leagues that you want to play in, like for instance, I want to play in a quick match, and our heroes have become more shadowed, more defined, and more kind of closer to the screen. Everything else kind of seems the same. Uh, these have become instead of like the nice uh, shapes they've become like large t rectangles not a fan of that right now but they did go ahead and add in more mounts that we can see here for instance the flying carpet now what I really wanted to talk about today is let's see if we can go in here right quick and change our hero to Sylvanas Windrunner Oh my gosh, this is one of those, if you play WoW, you know who this is, you've seen her in Undercity, and you were excited about this. She is a ranged specialist, actually, and I find that kind of strange, because most of her moves seem like assassin moves to me. I'll go ahead and give you a rundown of her talents, and then we'll get into a game with her. Um, her abilities are Withering Fire, where you shoot an arrow at the closest enemy, and it targets uh, heroes more so than it does... Uh, minions and it has five charges but basically you can just spam this and use all five charges almost at the same time I mean it's just tut 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 and it will come out um, and every time you kill a minion you get a charge back and every time you kill a hero you get three charges back so it's pretty good and it's very good at um, dealing that damage you need to kind of like finish the enemy off especially if you can get close enough to them the shadow dagger it's a dagger but it's a thrown dagger so you don't have to worry about being close at all it's still all ranged uh, it just deals 10 damage with an additional 40 over two seconds and the effect spreads so it's kind of like a plague type ability and then the haunting wave is the most interesting one she has now send forth the wave of banshees dealing 30 damage to all targets what you can do with this is you can uh, double tap it and you can appear to where the banshees are and it's an AOE so it does spread out a little bit it does very little damage in the beginning so it's not as good as Jaina's but it, that cone shape is still the same uh, her trait is black arrows at attacks and ability stun minions mercenaries and towers okay so it doesn't stun heroes which would make it a little bit OP actually so it's a good thing that it doesn't stun heroes but stunning minions mercenaries and towers that's gonna make her amazing at taking down mercenaries and towers actually I mean if you can stun those with your basic attack and I mean your attacks and your abilities that's I think that's gonna have to be changed later but it sounds a little OP to me right now just because I can think of if you can always just keep a tower from firing at you what's to stop you from destroying it by yourself do you even need it uh, I'll have to see how that works in game more so uh, wailing arrow is her heroic ability shoot an arrow that explodes for 200 damage and silences enemies now it's a good silence it's a good AOE it's a uh, thin rate it's it's pretty good I'll, I'll have to show it to you in game too um, or I can't remember if it's position is the first one you get. Position lets you take control of a minion. And it gains a 20 attack and it pretty much is like um, that ability that you can create a strong minion on your side. Well this one lets you take control of the enemies. So we'll just have to kind of see how that plays out too. What I think is her heroic abilities aren't very like amazing. They aren't super strong like everybody else's. This isn't turning into an Archon. This isn't like summoning some crazy creature that deals whirling damage. And this isn't calling a shot from the sky. But these other attacks are so interesting that I think it's okay and it's balanced out that way. So we're gonna go ahead and try to get into a match with her and I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can just uh, start the video again at a match. Okay so I couldn't get into a quick match right away just because there was really nobody on right now. It's Tuesday, so there's a lot of maintenance going. I waited for 30 minutes, then I just decided just to get into a cooperative match. Uh, we're going to go ahead and see how she does. This is my first time using her, so bear that in mind. I go ahead and click on uh, With the Wind. That'll increase this um, ability by 25% in range. And the reason I did that beca is because the other one reduces the cooldown of... Uh, Shadow Dagger, I think that range is always a good thing to get, so we're just going to be here for a second. And this is the Raven. Right. So, as you can see, you can just spam that as much as you want. Uh, throw that, the Banshee's out. This looks really great. And do you see how fast that uh, comes back? 
it's a really good ability. Um, I mean, I'm actually having a trouble spending all of these. And it auto-targets the hero. That makes it almost a little bit unfair. If you've heard me talk before about how I think that Lili and uh, Brightwing are unfair because you don't have to target with them, I feel the same way about Sylvanas. Uh, everything that she's doing right now is pretty much auto-targeting for me. I can, I mean, you have to target the dagger, but that's perfectly fine. I'm just auto-targeting Malfurion. They are being pushed back so much by this, and I'm not even getting hurt. Uh, this will probably be a lot different in player matches, but it's really nice right now just to be using this. Uh, she also has the ability to get away from enemies chasing her. If you don't realize that Haunting Wave can be used in reverse, instead of chasing down an enemy, you can use it to get away. I'll just go ahead and do that right quick and pop. Um, it's just a very... I don't know how good it is at escaping, but to me it seems like be, that's what it's going to be used for mostly. Um, I just, you don't ever have to stop pushing this, I'm not even joking about that. <laughs> you can just continuously push this button over and over again. Um, keep using the whales. There's no tributes yet to get on this map. I'm having a lot of fun with this actually, and I, what I sh forgot to do earlier, and what I'll probably do at the end of the video, is show you her skins that her skin alterations. Let's see, increase black arrow duration. I don't like that second one. This one says that whenever you basically are supposed to get a uh, free arrows from something, for instance, killing a minion with it or killing a hero, and you're already at max, then it'll just shoot one off free. And I don't like that because it's kind of too random. Like you don't know if that's going to be useful at all or not. Uh, let's go collect the tribute, actually, and I'm pretty poor with that, that I didn't realize that was already happening. Uh, go for it, and... Nope. Oh well. It's not the end of the world, and I will pay much more attention in the future for that to come up. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this eye right quick now that I see that. But yeah, at the end of the video, I'll go ahead and show you her other skins that I'm not as much a fan of as I am at her original skin, and I'll show you why in a little bit. Let's see what's going on down here. If you haven't noticed by now, I would say that her abilities mirror and or in her entire character is pretty much very similar to Vala, and that, I mean, it's an archer type hero that shoots arrows. Um, those banshees are just such a nice detail. That and just make sure you get in the way of that. Kind of, oops, too much in the way. And as you can see, just that, you can see kind of how that dagger is kind of like moving from minion to minion. So, shadow heals for each enemy hit, and black arrow explodes on death. Why not? <laughs> Let's go ahead and just shoot some minions right quick and just see what happens. That's not bad. I mean, it's not doing amazing damage, and it's not a huge AOE, but it is doing okay. And, oh my gosh, these people. I don't know where my team is. This is a computer match, so I didn't expect it to actually be this difficult, actually. And let's just try to run away right quick. Nope. I spammed that too fast. Oh, well. Uh, <laughs> you... I don't know if you can run away with it now, just because I think it's, um... Let's go ahead and grab full health right quick. Just because... I don't know if I'm gonna race it out. Let me see right quick. I mean, it does give you a pretty good distance, but... My problem is, I don't know if you have to stand still for it. Let me try one more time. I'm pr it does go through walls, as you can see. So that's a good thing. So it is it can be used for escape, especially if you're stuck behind a wall, you can go through the wall. Um, I did demonstrate that. Let's see if we can push these guys back a little bit. Grab some health. Dang. And don't run in a straight line like I just did, that was foolish. And let's just so see if we can grab 
this tribute since we haven't grabbed any tribute so far. Oh, move out of that way. And we're just gonna try to block this real quick. Oh, I'm gonna die. Let's see if we can grab that. Nope, couldn't grab it. Oh well. So it's actually surprising that my team is very not interested in getting the tributes. But again, like I said, it's I'm I'm not worried. We're gonna win. It's a cooperative match. It's no big deal. Cooperative matches are the best to play in if you don't understand how the hero works. If you don't understand how to play a hero in a in a quick match, that's okay because you know everybody's got to learn eventually. But if you just want to know how the character itself works, uh, fire arrows, the damage, and silence. This is the ultimate attack that you can see. It's got a pretty good range on it. I mean, that's pretty nice. Uh, let's go ahead and just spam. <laughs> this recharge time is so hilarious, especially since I'm not noticing it. But the recharge is getting uh, fat is going so fast because I'm killing minions with it, and every time I kill a minion, it spawns another one. So, see, I'm already back to five. <laughs> let's see if we can. I don't know if it's shooting now because I don't know if I'm stunning it to where it doesn't shoot. You can see that lock-on that's on the screen right there. Uh, that might be an, an actual thing that's like a giant hindrance to this game. And I probably... No, I'm just going to go ahead and stay and destroy the tower. Whoops, nope. I'm not going to do that, actually, because those guys are going to be right on top of me. Let's go up here and see if we can help get the tributes, since we have two heroes down here. And everybody else is up there, except for Arthas. We did get it, so let's go see if we can actually do the same thing here. We're just going to start targeting down that black aura that's on it, I think is black arrow, and it's not shooting. That is pretty OP. And it targets the tower too, with black, with our, your <laughs> withering fire, targets the towers. So, that is epic, to say the least. Uh, it doesn't shoot. It really does not shoot, and I never have to stop shooting it. That's ridiculous, in my opinion. Um, I'll definitely be putting more matches of her up. Don't worry that this is just going to be a cooperative match that doesn't show anything. But this is just crazy that it doesn't let these towers shoot at all. That's got to be changed. Um, let's see. Just throw that out there, see if I can grab a minion with it. It goes through gates, so... But then grants uh, move speed, black arrow slows hero. I'm going to go with the speed just for... I mean, the hero's probably better, but... I'm pretty... Actually, it would have been great just right now to be finishing this job off, but... Um, that is so awesome. Look at that. <laughs> and I get movement speed now, so... Oh, the enemy team is cursed. I don't even care, I can stop the tower myself. <laughs> I'm kidding, uh, now that minions are zero, I can probably just spam this... Uh, spam Black Arrow infinitely because it never stops. And your dagger does work on the towers too, so that's also a thing. I haven't even used my ultimate yet. Let's see what happens. Do I explode that? Because I did not ch explode on contact like I thought it would. Um, we'll have to try again with that because I messed that up. I didn't read it. Yeah, that was my bad. You can activate that early. So, um, my bad. You can activate that whenever you shoot it. You let it travel a little distance. You got to re-hit R to activate it again. Um, man, this is so easy. It's kind of ridiculous, actually. <laughs> Does this work on the ultimate tower? I mean, let's go see if it works on their core, actually. I really doubt that, but that would be amazing, wouldn't it? This will be the one match that's OP for me. Uh, keep spamming everything. Oh, I got trapped in that because I'm having too much fun. Let's get out of here. Keep spamming. Shadow Dagger makes enemies vulnerable. Yes. You 
down. I really want to keep pushing this because I really want to see if the core uh, does actually go like that. Um, no, it does not work. Okay, <laughs> that would I guess be a lot. That'd be really uh, OP if it did. So let's go ahead and try this again and pop. Yeah, there we go. Now we're getting the hang of this. I'm gonna go back and get some health. I did test it. Black Arrow does not work on the core. But it works on towers and everything else. I mean, let's go try to take a minion camp right quick, actually. Yeah. See if that's as amazing as I think it is. I'm just talking so much because I'm really, like, I'm enjoying the way she looks. I'm enjoying the way she attacks. Everything's dark, black. Oh, okay, that's a boss. What was I thinking? That was... Oh, well, I guess we should test it and make sure it doesn't... I mean, I guess it can't stun a boss, but we could try, right? So, it doesn't stun a boss. <laughs> I guess it just works on small minions. Um, yeah, that's fine. No, I guess it does work on min. Okay, so it works on small mercenaries, just not the large ones. But, that's still really OP, isn't it? Okay, I mean, you can only do one minion at a time, I guess, but... Oh well. I'm sure that this will all balance out eventually, but right now I think it's a little unfair, and I really want to push the core right now, get this over with in 12 minutes. I already have like a nice set of mercenaries going with me. Uh, nope, they're all stuck. Dagger out there. Keep shooting, get him down a little bit more. See, I can run all I want because I don't ever have to aim for him. I can just keep spamming this and it'll always shoot him automatically for me. That's really nice. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. But spam the arrows and run faster. <laughs> That's all I can say about it. That's a really... I, I don't think I could ever be caught. I mean, probably, if they slow me down, but... That's just so funny. My team's getting the tribute again. The enemy team's so preoccupied, they don't even care. 18 to 16. Um, as you can see, the choices I'm making are just more fun, but I chose ch this because making somebody 25% or take 25% more damage is ridiculous. Counting, casting this twice, it's a pretty weak technique to start out with. So, I mean, it doesn't do anything amazing, in my opinion. I mean, it... I guess now that I'm, like, level 20, it might take down minions, but let's find out. Start spamming that again. Throw that out there. Yeah, see, it only does so much damage, so... <laughs> Vala and so on, so it's kind of... A little bit ridiculous, actually. Start spamming the core. Throw a dagger in there. It's, as you can see, the dagger does take the, make that 25% damage on the core. So that's too easy. That's a GG. Okay, I'm sorry. This was a cooperative match, and I didn't get to fully uh, show you everything, especially when it's actual player versus player combat. But this was just to get the uh, basic idea of what her abilities do. And as you can see, you can spam Withering Fire, you can use the Banshees to teleport. Um, there we go, level 2. Um, that's awesome. They reset mine now, I'm still level 32. Oh well. So, I bought her with 1500 gold. She is buyable, and I'll go ahead and show you in the shop now what her skins are and stuff like that. Okay, so, you can buy her with 15,000 gold. And that's what I did, and this gold is actually from them giving you extra gold for playing so much, and that you're supposed to get an award at like level 25 and something like that, so that's why I have all this extra gold. But her skins, they look pretty good. Like that is the more humanist, uh, human, like not undead, if you're trying to go for that. And as you can see, her cape looks fantastic with that nice, like, sh shredded end. Um, yeah, I mean, these all look really good. Now, I'm not too much of a fan of her hero skin, because that looks a little bit too cluttered, too crazy, in my opinion. I mean, 
she looks I don't know how to say it. I mean, she to me, she looks kind of just like Vela with the glowing red eyes and everything, and then you get like this, and it's just like too much. Like, Vela's costume is a little bit too much for me, too. Uh, it, I mean, look, you got like red red, red glowing and eyes, and then blue gems everywhere, and you have these horns that don't even fit in the screen. Uh, I'm not a big fan. I mean, you can change the color of it, and it does get better. I mean, everything's green here now. Her cape looks... It looks like something stitches would sew together. Um, it does look best in the red, since everything matches. Everything's nice and dark colored. But for me, it's I'm not a big fan. Her uh, alternate skin is uh, that blood elf kind of look, uh, looking skin, and I I am a big fan of it. Um, not as much as her original skin, just because look at the cape. It doesn't sway in the wind. I don't understand it at all. Like sh I don't know how to explain that. Um, as you can see, I mean, her colors do get pretty nice. Uh, yeah, I mean, this all matches really well. But when you, you come back here, you look at this, that's the kind of cape I'm expecting to see. That nice flutter in the wind kind of style. This doesn't flutter at all. Like, you could spin her as much as you want. She's just going to get dizzy, and her cape will not move. <laughs> so, there you go. I hope you enjoyed, and I will probably be making more videos with Sylvanas in the future. My next video will probably be still with Jaina, just be sh to show off her master skin. Uh, I will be getting into Hero Leagues very soon, as you can see, I already hit 30. If you enjoyed this video, if you want to use Sylvanas, get out there, use her 15,000 gold or 9.99 if you really need to spend the money. I wouldn't. Uh, save the money for her skin if you buy it, just because. So, thanks for watching. If you liked, thumbs up. Please subscribe.